So here's some more advice. Uh, if someone said you have to make this course but can only quote one export, expert, <laughs> export, expert, I would choose Benjamin Graham. Uh, he was the guru for Warren Buffett, as has been mentioned many times. Uh, you should be bored with your portfolio. The more you have hands on it, the more you'll screw it up. So that's actually from my brother, Wayne, who's done very, very well. Both my brothers have done very well in investing and just in terms of uh, financial, financially. So, uh, yeah, we had a good teacher, our father and mother, too. Um, diversity across the globe, 50% uh, of the world stock market is in the U.S., but then 50% is not, so diversify, but know what you're doing, don't just, uh, maybe, if you're going to invest offshore, invest in a country like Canada or America or some of the European countries that, um, where your investments are somewhat insured, uh, you know, safer. If you want stability by a GIC, uh, you get 5% interest per year. ETFs, though, really are the way to go. Um, but I think for people living in Japan, mutual funds seem to be better. The uh, financial market's a little bit, uh, uh, what, a little bit late to the party compared to some other countries. They're still sort of um, feeling things out in some ways. Uh, so it's not as user friendly or not um, not uh, as flexible, but um, ETFs in general would be the way to go, I would think. Have you started thought about starting your your own business? That's kind of been my thing. Started a chain of English schools and started my guest houses. Uh, before that, as a young man, I had different businesses as well, not as successful, but. Um, I had a music business and a painting company, <laughs> lots of things. They say that you need to start, you know, many businesses until you find one works. And the first one that really took off uh, were my English schools. Investing can mean investing in your own company, as has been mentioned before. What do you know? Can you use what you know to start a business? Or do you have a business that you could improve by investing more money into it? That's what I tend to do. I tend to put a lot of my money back into the guest houses. Uh, that's what Jeff Bezos did. He had an idea and went for it. What are your ideas? Um, a lot of the people who have become successful entrepreneurs would agree with this. They don't try to find the home run idea. They try to find a simple solution to a problem that they can see. So some problem that you see everywhere, do you have a solution for that? And that could be your business. For example, one of the most successful businesses in Japan is Cut House QB. And they saw uh, a, a chance. Uh, getting a haircut was quite expensive. There's no tipping here, but it was it was often you know twenty dollars or more. I guess that's not that expensive, but twenty dollars or more. They thought they could do it cheaper, so they become kind of the McDonald's of haircuts. You go in, you buy a ticket, you wait, boom, they do kind of a standard haircut. It's about ten dollars or twelve dollars. It's gone up a little bit, eleven dollars or so, and uh, you're in and out, and you save about fifty percent or more on your haircut. And it's no muss, no fuss. They actually vacuum your head, <laughs> which feels really good, actually. Um, so, is there something like that that you could start in your area? Another one. Um, Japan used to be quite expensive. It's actually now quite a cheap country to come to and live in. Uh, prices have basically not gone up in the last, I would say, 20 to 30 years. So 30 years ago, Japan was expensive, but not now because prices have stayed steady. Uh, there's a, a, a store called Daiso, which you probably have heard of if you live in North America. Uh, you would know it as the one dollar or two dollar shop in Japan. It's a one hundred and one hundred yen shop, 
which is a dollar, and they saw an opportunity to get cheap goods from China or other parts of Asia, sell them in Japan at a profit, uh, and they're still only one dollar. So amazing store. And they're huge stores. They sell everything. They even sell food. Uh, Uniqlo, uh, Uniqlo in English, and GU, these are discount clothes, clothing stores in Japan, but they've, in Uniqlo anyways, moved abroad. I'm not sure about GU. Uh, they saw a need for a good quality but reasonably priced clothes. Not designer clothes, but very good clothes. Often mimic designer clothes, but at a fraction of the price. Again, uh, solving a problem. How to get reasonable clothes. Good quality clothes at a reasonable price. So, there must be some problems in your area. You know, things that you complain about to your friends. Could you solve the problem? And could you start a business by doing that? So that's how you start a successful business.